Lindsay Sylvanians, and I make videos about Sylvanian families, also known as Calico Critters. And today I am unboxing two new sets which have just been released on the official UK Sylvanian Families store. So this is a Strawberry Sweet Nursery, and these are the Very Berry Babies. These were first released in Japan in September last year, but became available on the official Sylvanian Families store in the UK earlier this month managed to get both as soon as they were released and have just got them in the post. So I had to film an unboxing to look at them as soon as possible. I'll open the babies first as I think the nursery is going to take up all the room on my desk. So these are the very berry babies and they were $24.99 on the official store. I'll take off the plastic bag to get a better look at them. So here they are in the box, which is very cute. From the side. Safety information on the back, which isn't interesting. Though I do like these strawberry and daisy graphics at the top. And the other side. Carefully taking them out of the box. And here's a close up. I'll take them all out of the elastic. And here's a better look at the inside of the box. It's mainly pink and I think looks like the strawberry nursery. That definitely has the same arch windows and shelf of toys. I'll just pop that to the side. So here are the five babies. They're all very sweet in their strawberry themed costumes which are either pink or red. I'll try and get them to all stand up. There. The description of this set says it includes five charming figures in matching strawberry costumes and I definitely agree that they're charming. I like their outfits and although I don't really associate pink with strawberries I'm glad they're not all wearing the exact same thing. So let's take a look at each one in detail, starting with Bear Baby, Jason Osborne. He is wearing one of the red strawberry outfits, which is a romper with little white spots all over. There's a green leaf frill at the top, and that goes all the way around. The little red button on the front is a nice extra detail. And the romper itself is quite bulky. I do like the hat, which is red with a green frill. Tiny white flower looks like the flowers on a strawberry plant. The elastic has left an indentation on the side of Jason's head, and here as well. So I probably won't leave the hat on in my collection, but I'll give it him back for the rest of this video. There. He's very cute. I do love the bear families. So the next figure in this set is Striped Cat Baby Apricot Sandy. She is wearing a similar outfit, but it's in a lovely pale pink shade instead of red. And there's a pink button on the front too. It's also a tube style without individual leg holes. In fact, this one seems particularly baggy, so I might try and straighten that out a bit. Yeah. And her hat is the same style, again with a little flower too. There is an elastic mark on her face here, which is a shame. But 
but overall, she is a sweet little figure. Now it wouldn't be a Sylvanian set without a chocolate rabbit, so here is Krem. She is in red like Jason, with a dark red button on the front. In fact, it's maybe darker than the other red button. I'm not sure if this is showing up on camera, but I do think there's a colour difference. Actually, I'll use this to take a look at the outfit of the figure. Yeah, I think that colour difference is showing up. Interesting. I wonder if this was purposeful, or they ran out of one shade of button. I think it's the same as the other red outfit. So here we can see the outfit is just a simple tube with elastic at the top and the bottom. It should be easy to recreate these styles if you're at all crafty. So let's get Creme dressed again. Oop, just pull it up at the front again too. There. Creme has long ears that wouldn't work with the previous style of hats, so she has more of an ear accessory. It still has a flower on the front, but is made of the green fabric and goes all the way around. If I take it off, there's a loop of green elastic in there. And it's quite neat looking. So she looks adorable. And just need to straighten her legs to be stood up. There. Okay, so the next baby is Yuli from the Fennec Fox family. These figures have a lovely mould with their big pointed ears. So Yuli has the same ear accessory as Krem, which just pops off and on like this. Unfortunately, it did leave a small mark. The pink is cute, though I do think the red may have looked better with her fur colour. A little baggy in the back like the rest of them. So cute! And the final baby is Peppermint Marlow, the tuxedo cat, who's wearing red again. And she has on the regular hat style, and that's just over her left ear. Making sure it's on there. Okay. So those are the five figures in the very berry baby set. At twenty four ninety nine, these babies work out at about five pounds each, which is quite a lot, especially when you compare it to, say, the blind bags, which are less than four pounds in the UK and come with an accessory. There's an okay mix of figures. There definitely could have been more unusual ones, but the figures they chose are crowd-pleasing favourites. The other set I bought at the same time, which is the Strawberry Sweet Nursery. This is in a big old box with a large image of the nursery building on the front. The side has another view of the nursery at the top, and then the Very Berry Babies underneath. Back has some close up pictures with the babies playing in the nursery. These show some really cute scenes I will definitely be recreating, like the tea party. On the final side is all the items included inside, with those two babies too. And the top are some of the same pictures. Oh, and for a complete view, Here's the bottom of the box. So let's get this opened. Oh wow, it's been a while since I opened a big brand new set like this. So 
so there are lots of picture instructions for all the stickers and paper pieces and I'll speed through getting everything out. And get them out of the bags too. We have another bag with these paper pieces in. That's going to be lots of stickers to go on. So I want to take a closer look at the actual building structure. There's a built-in shelf on the left, which has some really nice moulded details like the cuddly toy writing at the top, and various different toys on the lower shelves. The door has this lovely art shape and a bow at the top, and more rounded windows on the other walls. The floor is a beautiful soft pink, and I like the panelling effect at the base of the walls too. This continues on the outside of the building, but in pink, and with toy emblems on each panel. And these are repeated here. There's a pretty mint colour brought into contrast. These window warnings have a scalloped edge and pink bows. And this sign part will have a sticker to go on. There's another sign on the wall on this side too, so let's take a look at those. Each of the stickers are numbered to help get each in its correct place. So this basket of strawberries goes by the shop door. Trying to put that on as straight as possible. That's okay, I think. This next sticker is a colourful train with a cargo of strawberries. There's a big sticker going on the side. I really like the flowers instead of the steam coming out of the engine. This funny shaped piece is a shop sign, with two perfectly shaped stickers to go on either side. I definitely find these larger ones a little trickier. That's okay. Now onto the second sticker. I'll speed this up a little. There. And now this just slots on top. Okay, let's keep going with the stickers. These two cover up the tops of the windows. And go on like this. First one done. On to the second. And there, they look like curtains. Okay, so these three stickers are meant to go on the shelves, but I don't know if I want them there permanently. And these stickers are to decorate the walls with. I do really like this cuckoo clock, but again, I maybe won't want that on the walls all the time. 
I'll come back to the stickers. This is an extra piece of flooring which is pale pink and matches with the tiling on the floor. So that can go here to expand the shop floor. Or like this to give the effect of a pavement outside. Right, this is a thicker cardstock piece with a flower and strawberry design all over. If I gently pop it out, just speeding through. Okay, so this makes a mat to designate the play area. In fact, I'll build this around first. So it's these three pastel pieces. You have this pale pink one, which can be a slide. And that goes here. Then this rounded piece is a slightly darker shade of pink and goes on the corner. And this is the final segment, which I think can be used as a play shop front. And it's different on the back with these kind of steps. So that goes in the final spot. And then I can pop the card back in too. Okay, so now I have this little white box. It's just plain and blank all over. So I'll snip the tape, and hello! Let's get them out of each bag. So these are the two included babies. First we have Linnea Husky wearing a red outfit, which is otherwise the same as what the very berry babies are wearing. So she also has the little flat style of hat. But yeah, I think it's exactly the same. And the second figure is another rabbit baby, this time Sophie Snow. Her outfit is a little low, so I'll just pull it up. There, much better. She's in the pink version of the outfit, with the same little button on the front. And the leafy ear accessory. So they can go over here. Okay, so all the smaller plastic accessories are kept safe in this packaging. I'll get that open. And the first piece is this pink easel. It's a nice rounded square shape with triangle parts on the sides. And the back could be used for storage. There's a sticker to go on this front part, which looks like it has chalk drawings on there, including a strawberry, of course. So if I line that up very carefully... Perfect! This is a really fun piece. The next item is also solid pink. It's a little play table. So it's the same all the way around, with a recess spot in the middle. That's where these card pieces come in. So there's four options, and I'll just speed through getting them out. This one looks like a strawberry field with a path running through. This one is made for the building blocks to make fruit pitchers. This one is a little cooking station. And finally one with two plates for a tea party. They can all go in the table to keep them safe. Next item is a lovely pink and mint coloured shopping basket. It's a mould we've seen before but I do like the colour combination. There's a little doll's house, again in the same pink and mint colour scheme. I think the shape is modelled after the cosy cottage. There's also a space on the back to play like the actual Sylvanian house. The painting on this isn't the best, and there is a small chip on the roof here. 
but other than that, very cute. More toys in the form of this pink car with mint wheels, again modelled after one of the Sylvanian cars, and there's a car shaped rattle for the younger babies too. I really like this elephant toy, but I wish it wasn't the hard plastic, and the same goes for this little white teddy bear who has a pink ribbon round his neck. Another toy for the younger Sylvanians with this bunny shaped rattle, it's a really nice shape with painted details and plain on the back. Then there's a toy boat in pink, white and pale blue. Also a little drum or tambourine with a percussion stick to go with it. Obviously this doesn't make the actual noise. Then we move on to the cooking items which are all pink with a mint handle or handles. There's a shallow frying pan, a larger pot, a teapot, which is all one piece, so the lid doesn't come off. I could imagine this being easy to lose if it did. And finally, two tiny teacups. We also have a pink basket for storage. And these very tiny bear figures, which incredibly have face details on. There's two crayons, or chalk for the chalkboard easel. And finally these four pink cubes. So these stickers are meant to go around them to make some building blocks type pieces. And these stickers are to go around the edge of the play table. While I'm at it, there's some boxes to make up out of the card. And a couple of magazines or books too. And this second sheet has some more boxes, including a strawberry piano, which I wish was actually made in this set. So I did all of that off camera. And now we have two present boxes. This larger one, which has lots of different fruits all over. And there's a small cut near to the bow. So you can slot in one of these note cards like a gift tag. There are four of these cards, a strawberry one with a green outline, one with a blue edge, a red one with more strawberries, and this pink one with a train illustration, which wasn't cut out completely central. The second gift box has a pink and red strawberry print design all over. And the last three boxes are meant to look like toy packaging. So there's a strawberry piano, which has music themed icons all over. This one, which looks like the packaging for some colourful building blocks. And finally a tea party set. I could see this having wooden or felt cakes in real life for imaginary play. I love this side which has all the contents laid out like a Sylvanian box does too. And also the teeny barcode on the back. I folded up two books. This one has the pink doll's house on the front. I'll buy it with slightly more detail and has some other toys included in this set on the pages too. And I think the second one is meant to be a colouring book. It's pink with a strawberry icon on the front, but the rest of the pages are black and white. Together, these two can fit in the basket to keep them upright like this. Then the play table has a little more detail with these stickers round the edge. And I'll pop the mats back in too. These blocks were quite tricky to get the stickers on. 
so they're not perfectly lined up, but basically they all have a quarter of a fruit on each side, like a lemon, apple, orange, kiwi, and strawberry. And finally, I did decide to use the shelf liners, but instead stuck them onto some pink card so they didn't have to be permanently on there. Right, let's get to filling up the nursery, though it's definitely more of a shop. And Sophie over here. So that is a sweet strawberry nursery set. I love how many pieces are in this set and how the strawberry theme is so prevalent throughout. I do wonder why it's called a nursery when it uses the old toy shop mould and clearly more has items for sale but that's by the by. This set is £50 so definitely a higher price point than other buildings currently available but the official shop exclusive sets are always more expensive. Having the two babies in strawberry costumes is fun too, and I like that they are different figures to the very very babies. But this building looks a bit empty now, so let's bring back the other baby figures. And there, that looks better. These two sets are for sure made to go together. These remaining stickers can go anywhere, and maybe I'll put these on card to blue tack them on the walls. But for now, these are the Strawberry Nursery and the Very Berry Babies. I'm looking forward to putting these in my collection and possibly adding some more toys to break up the pink a little. So I hope you enjoyed watching these unboxings and it helps you to find out more about them if you're undecided on buying them. And one final shot of all the babies side by side.
Let me know in the comments if you have these sets or if you'd like to get them. And thank you for watching this video. If you like Sylvanian Family's content, then subscribe to my channel as I post unboxings like this, as well as news and setup videos every week.